Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving me a great opportunity to be here today and to share our critical cases in the QR based session. My name is Masao Sekiguchi Khan from Tokyo Japan National Health Center Hospital. So, before doing QR based session, uh, let me very quickly uh, explain how to diagnose and select, how to select treatment strategy for corrective neoplasia. So, colonoscopy is a procedure composed of several steps, um, such as insertion, detection, diagnosis, and treatment. And in the detection, still now many doctors prefer using white light imaging, and in the diagnosis, also image enhanced endoscopy, such as narrowband image, is utilized, and the necessary clone endoscopy is used, and also in Japan, magnification is often used. Let me skip. So, what should we diagnose? Important point, there are two important points histological diagnosis and depth diagnosis. If the lesion is neoplastic lesion, that requires treatment. And if the lesion is requirement, requires treatment. And with regard to depth diagnosis, SMD invasive cancer requires surgery due to a risk of lymphoid metastasis. So, differential diagnosis of SMD invasive cancer is really important. This slide summarizes how to select treatment strategy for corrective neoplasia. If the lesion is considered to be SMD invasive cancer or more deeper cancer, in that case, surgery is indicated. On the other hand, if the lesion is considered as intramucosal cancer or precancerous lesion, in that case, endoscopic resection is chosen. And also, with regard to the selection of ESD or EMO, uh, that is determined based on the necessity of unbroken resection and the size of the lesion. If you require unbroken resection, in that case, according to the size of the lesion, you will choose ESD or EMO. And this slide shows what can we do with NBI with magnification. So, if you have the tool of NBI magnification, you can do both histological diagnosis and depth diagnosis. In this context, let me explain again and let me recommend again the usefulness of JNET classification. This JNET classification is composed of four subgroups according to vessel patterns and surface patterns of the lesion. So, because of the limited time, just very simply explain the subgroups. So, if you see the images, like as shown in this slide, so each image corresponds with type 1, type 2A, type 2B, and type 3. And with regard to the diagnosis of neoplastic lesion, if you see the lesion showing type 2A, type 2B, or type 3, in that case, you can understand, you can diagnose that lesion as a neoplastic lesion. With regard to the depth diagnosis, if you see type 3 lesion, in that case, you can confidently understand that that lesion must be SMD invasive cancer. On the other hand, if the lesion shows type 1 or type 2A, in that case, you can understand that this lesion must be intramucosal lesion. Then how about type 2B? Let me focus on type 2B. Type 2B is characterized by the variable caliber of vessels and irregular distribution of vessels and irregular or obscure surface pattern, as shown in this slide. And if you see genet type 2B, genet type 2B indicate high-grade intramucosal neoplasia or shallow submucosal invasive cancer. However, the important point is there's also possibility for deep SM invasive cancer. So, if you see genet type 2B, you cannot complete the diagnosis only using magnified NPI. You need to further diagnose using magnified chromoendoscopy. 
So let me summarize. If you see JNN type 2 b you need further abbreviation using magnifying from endoscopy. So this slide summarizes PD pattern classification from PD pattern 1 to PD pattern 5. And from PD pattern 1 to 3L3S4, integral kernel diet is enough for chrome endoscopy. However, important diagnosis for PD pattern 5, you need crystal vitamin stain. So, PD pattern 5 is important because it indicates high grade dysplasia or invasive cancer. And among this group, SMD submucosal cancer is important because it requires surgery due to a risk of lymphoid metastasis. So in this sense, in order to differential diagnosis of SMD invasive cancer, the, invasive, the finding of invasive pattern, which has been proposed by Professor Matsuda there, is very useful. So let me simply explain about the invasive pattern. Invasive pattern is defined as the demarcated existence of demarcated area and the inside the area around the demarcated area you need to focus. And if you see fiber severe geography, in that case you can confidently diagnose that this lesion is positive of invasive pattern and you can also confidently diagnose this lesion is SMD invasive cancer so you can confidently refer this patient directly to the surgery. And finally, let me talk about the diagnosis of sesamcellated lesion. Honestly, that diagnosis of sesamcellated lesion cannot be completely covered by genetic classification and heat pattern diagnosis. So, you need to understand the typical findings associated with sesamcellated lesion. If you see more wider, wider and more open pit pattern, so-called type 2 open pit, in that case you can confidently diagnose this lesion should be sesamcellated lesion. Also, if you use magnified NPA and you can observe the dilated and branching vessels as shown in this figure, you can understand that this lesion should be sesamcellated lesion. So, let me finish my talk and let me continue the Q&A session. So, let's begin with the not so difficult case. This is the case one. The region is located in the transverse column. And, uh, okay, let me show the figures. This is the uh, NBI and NBI with modifications. And this is a uh, chrome endoscopy with magnification. So I have three questions. First question is macroscopic task. Okay. Please choose the answer. Okay, uh, 
interesting selection. So um, let me uh, show you answers. So first, macroscopic time is very important. So the answer is, correct answer is 0 to 8 plus 2 C. And based on our pathological review, the correct answer is SMD invasive cancer. And treatment is, selection of treatment is surgery. So let me review this case. So in order to evaluate the macroscopic type of the lesion, actually angiocarmal neck spraying is very important. So after angiocarmal neck, you can see the demarcated line inside the lesion. So in that case, you can see the depressed area inside the lesion. That means something plus 0 to C lesion. And this lesion is flat elevated lesion with depressed area. So 0 to A plus 2 C lesion. And second point is, if you see demarcated area, you have to focus on the area inside the demarcated area. And the magnify NBI is very useful. So, using magnify NBI, you can see the loose vessel, loose pattern of vessels and amorphous area of the sub's pattern. So, only using narrow imaging, you can understand that this lesion shows JN type 3 and indicating SMD invasive cancer. But for further com confidential, further evaluation, so in order to confidentially come, so in order to with much confidence to diagnose, you can do chromoendoscopy with magnification. In that case, we can visualize a fiber severe irregular peak pattern inside the demarcated area. So this lesion is positive of invasive pattern. So we can diagnose this must be SMP invasive cancer indicate. So surgery is indicated for this case. Okay, um, for the second case. So let me show figures. White line and angiocarmal dye. Then, magnify NPI and yeah, crystal balance with magnification. Okay, so the question, I have three questions again. The first one is macroscopic type. So please choose correct answer. Okay. Um, 02A or 02A plus 2C or 02C. Okay. So, next question is the diagnosis. So, please choose the correct answer.
we can trace the demarcated area inside the lesion. So we can diagnose this lesion is 0 to 8 plus 2 to lesion and inside the demarcated area we focus on using magnified endomia and magnified chromo endoscopy. In that case, different from previous case, you can see the two repeat pattern inside the lesion remain. So this lesion shows negative or invasive pattern. And actually, JNF classification, most part is covered by JNF2A, and some part we can see that JNF2B. So, final diagnosis is not SMD invasive cancer, but high grade dysplasia or SM superficial SM invasive cancer afterwards. That is indicated for ESD. Okay, this is a pathological review of this lesion after we perform ESD for this case and pathological review show that intramural cause of cancer. So this case is completely different from the previous case endoscopically and pathologically. So case three. So white light imaging and injury carbonate spraying. Actually, this kind of lesion, the detection of the lesion is really important. So first of all, uh, we must detect this kind of lesion. Then we must first elaborate in detail of that lesion. OK, next picture is uh, magnifying NBI and chroma endoscopy. This magnification. Okay, the question, I have three questions for this question. First, macroscopic time. 02C, 02A LSTG, 02A LSTNG. How about the correct answer? Please select. So with regard to peak patterns, 
There is no five-way severe irregular heat pattern, so we can diagnose this lesion is negative of invasive pattern, so that means it is good indication for endoscopic resection. With regard to the selection of endoscopic resection procedure, some Western doctors may prefer performing EMR and Japanese doctors prefer performing ESD, Russian doctors uh, prefer performing ESD. So, that will be on hot discussion. However, we believe that this kind of lesion sometimes shows the multifocal invasive pattern, so we prefer performing ESD. We believe that it requires ample resection. Okay, so pathological review shows that we actually perform ESD for this case due to be resected and intraposal cancer. High grade dysplasia in Western, uh, so called high grade dysplasia in Western countries. Okay, so next case is case four. This lesion is located in the lectum and uh, in a straight view, now white light imaging and the individual carbon dye. This is a retrofraction view. Uh, we can visualize the whole image of the lesion. And then, uh, right image of the magnified NBI. And this is a uh, crystal stain with magnification. So, right image focus on the nodules on the lesion. So, I have two questions. First, diagnosis, then treatment. So, first question is diagnosis. How about the correct answer? Please choose the diagnosis.
Sometimes the endoscope may choose ESD, but the pathological impact of this uh, case is SMT invasive cancer. Okay, case five. This is, I think, also interesting case. The lesion is located in the ascending colon. Okay, focus on that red box using NBI based magnification and chrome endoscopy based magnification. So, my question is because of the time limitation, let's skip this question. So, my question is how about the diagnosis? Please select the correct answer.
Okay. Wow, interesting. And next final question is the treatment. How about the life selection? So EMO, ESD, surgery, chemotherapy, pre-selected. This is the final question. I'm surprised that many of you selected ESD. Do you like ESD? <laughs> so, let me review. you. The diagnosis is hybrid dyspraxia or SM superficial cancer, and uh, we perform EMR for this case. So, don't do call protect me for this case. Let me review this case finally. So, we can see very small polyp, but the macroscopic type is very interesting. So, we can easily understand that this lesion requires further evaluation, detailed evaluation. So, using angiocarmandite, we can see the demarcated area inside the lesion. So, we can understand that we need to focus on using magnified NPI. In that case, uh, irregularity is seen in vascular pattern and surface pattern, so move to chromoendoscopy with magnification. And some of part shows an irregularity, however, there remain tubular pits. So we think that this lesion is not positive of invasive pattern, so we believe that this lesion has a potential for endoscopic resection indication. And after the injection, actually the lesion size is very small, so uh, I think that this lesion does not require ESD, just easily uh, performed by EMR and unbroken resection was achieved, and this lesion shows an interim cause of cancer. I think that this lesion is a very good case for learning how to diagnose and select the treatment of the lesion. Honestly, I have seven more cases, but time's up, so next time, uh, thank you so much. Уважаемые коллеги, я думаю, после такой замечательной лекции у вас должно быть море вопросов. Пожалуйста, задавайте. Можно тогда я начну? Uh, thank you very much for your outstanding presentation. And I have a question about rectal case. Uh, LSTG in rectal. In rectal case, yes. Uh, maybe 20 minutes ago we heard about relative indications for ESD in stomach when we have deeps of mucosal invasion, but surgery is so associated with risk. And what about rectal cases when surgery is usually associated low anterior resection with low uh, poor function maybe? Do you have relative indications for ESD in rectal in case of cancer? That's a very important question. Thank you for a very important question. Actually, so in the selection of the treatment strategy, we need to focus on not only concreteness of the so radical treatment, and also we need to focus on the quality of life. So, for example, in the selected patients, such as elderly patients, sometimes uh, we need to consider so um, extended indication for ESD for rectal lesion. However, we don't still have the official extended indication for rectal lesion. However, recently, as a clinical trial, we have the option of ESD following by chemoradiation therapy. So now it is ongoing. However, after the the result of clinical research um, came up. In that case, maybe the extended indication we can make, but it's still now ongoing. Thank you very much. Пожалуйста, вопросы, коллеги. Точно должны быть вопросы. Очень интересно. Thank you for your fruitful cases, uh, which are so very beautiful, very useful, very interesting. Uh, I would like to ask you about the case of ESD in ascending colon. Uh, in, uh, you said that uh, actually we should perform surgery, but you honestly choose uh, ESD. 
so the question is, after uh, the pathological examination shown uh, deep subacosal invasion, uh, what was your decision in this patient? So you uh, sent this patient to the surgery or you choose follow up and how did you make this decision? Thank you. Uh, thank you for a great question. Actually, um, before uh, performing ESC, before performing treatment, so we persuaded the patient this lesion is uh, SMD invasive cancer in a high proportion. However, the patient so um, said that, you know, I want to try the uh, percentage, low percentage of the concrete uh, treatment by ESC. So we tried to ESC. However, in that case, I believe that except for very high risk patient, we need to persuade patient the necessity of additional treatment, that means surgery, before doing ESC. Uh, except very old patients, such as 80, 90 years old. So, in that patient, actually, the 50 year old female, so um, before performing ESD, if astrological evaluation revealed SMD invasive cancer, you need to undergo additional surgery in order to live long life. So, in this case, actually, after the uh, astrological evaluation revealed, revealing SMD invasive cancer, the patient uh, underwent additional surgery. So she's fine. Is she a Ну, позвольте мне еще один вопрос задать. Я извиняюсь. Uh, may I ask you a question about genetic classification in polypoid visions? Because we know that polypoid visions, especially in the left core, they usually uh, have very long time of contact with uh, opposite wall, for example, and usually they are inflamed with inflammation. Uh, is it easy to differentiate uh, inflammation and invasion in case of polypoid lesions? Thank you for a very great question. Actually, so uh, because of the limited time, I barely uh, simply explained that I have to diagnose the lesion. So as you mentioned, actually, we need to also understand that that lesion is polypoid lesion or non polypoid lesion. That is a very important point. In addition to that, um, actually, as you mentioned, in the, actually, in the rectal lesion, Sometimes the lesion show the old very irregular lesion, however, are sometimes caused by inflammation. So in that case, honestly, just based on genetic classification, so objective, I mean, objective sense, um, sometimes difficult to differentiate between inflammation, so irregularity caused by inflammation and irregularity caused by um, neoplastic change. However, based on experience, and uh, we can see a little bit difference. However, uh, as you mentioned, in the rectal lesion, sometimes we have to consider there's some possibility of irregularity caused by inflammation. In that case, we prefer uh, more uh, frequently uh, select the uh, ES endoscopic resection choice. Thank you very much. Коллеги, вопросы у меня больше. Ну, если вопросов нет, тогда у нас по программе до 14.30 обед и ланч симпозиум.